In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called recognizing consistency among equilibrium constant free energy and cell potential. This problem looks way harder than it actually is. It's actually pretty simple. So this problem has three sets of data, cell A, B, and C. And for each one of these sets of data, you have to find the one calculated quantity that is inconsistent or incorrect. And this does not involve any math at all. So I'm gonna make a note over here of the, we're, we're going to base this completely on spontaneity for all of these different terms. And I'm going to make a note over here um, what it means to be spontaneous versus non-spontaneous. So we'll just say um, spontaneous. That would mean that we have a negative delta G. It, um, that's, what, that's the definition of spontaneity. We have a positive value of E cell. When a, when a reaction is spontaneous, E cell is positive. And then we also have a large equilibrium constant. Um, large k. Specifically, we're looking at the exponents here when we're talking about the size. And then for non-spontaneous reactions, the definition of non-spontaneous is to have a positive value of delta G. Non-spontaneous reactions don't generate electricity, so they're going to have a negative value of E, and then also they are going to have a small value of k. And again, to do that, we're looking at the exponents. So when we look at um, data set A, the, the value of G is a negative number, so that's consistent with it being spontaneous. The value of K is a very small number, so that's consistent with non-spontaneity. And the value of E is a negative number, that's non-spontaneous. So of these three numbers, this is the one that is inconsistent with the others. K and E are telling us that the reaction is non-spontaneous. Delta G is telling us that the reaction is spontaneous. It's the one that doesn't match the others. So that's got to be a wrong question quantity. That's all we have to do. Let's look at the data set for B. Um, in B, delta G is a positive number, so that means it's non-spontaneous. The K value is very large, so that uh, corresponds to spontaneity. The value of E is negative, which is non-spontaneous. So we want to see which one doesn't match, and the one that doesn't match is K. That is the one that must be wrong. And then for our last data set, C, we have a negative value of delta G. Negative delta G is spontaneous. We have a small exponent for K, so that would be non-spontaneous. We have a positive E, so that would be spontaneous. So that means that, again, K is the one that doesn't match. The only time that this problem is going to get kind of tricky is if you have something that is in equilibrium, which I don't have here. Um, in equilibrium, equal, <laughs> can't spell equilibrium, I'm just going to go with EQ. If you have something in equilibrium, delta G and E are going to be zero. Um, and K is going to be approximately a one. 